right, everybody, in this tutorial, we are going to go over how to get your iPad to connect and project on your laptop. If you are in a Google Meet, you might want to do that so that you have basically a second screen and that you can use your iPad and stylus in, ov in order to have like a virtual whiteboard. What will you need? You're going to need, really important, is this C to USB adapter connector attached to the charging um, cord for your iPad. This is the USB part that comes out of your charger that goes into the wall. You just need to connect that here to this C to USB adapter and then this will plug into your Mac. All right, so this end I'm going to put into my Mac like so. And this end I'm going to put into my iPad like so. Once you have your device connected already, um, you are going to use a program QuickTime that's native to your Mac in order to display the screen of your iPad. As soon as you connect the cable into your iPad, your computer should ask you and your iPad should ask you something like, do you want to trust this device? You must say trust in order to make this work. If you don't get that screen, maybe you've already connected before, so it automatically trusts it, or maybe the cable is loose and you want to reconnect it until you get prompted. Do you want to trust this computer? You may also be asked if you want to update your iPad software. Um, I, that just happened to me, and so I took a screenshot to show you. If you get this warning, um, do you want to update to connect to Ashley's Pro, you shouldn't have to do that. Um, but if you've troubleshooted a few things, this might be something that you do end up having to do, but you shouldn't have to. I just clicked not now. All right, so I've plugged in my iPad. It said, do you trust this computer? I said, yes. Now I basically will have my iPad and I'm gonna say not now on this. I need to get it to be mirroring. We're gonna open the program QuickTime. You can do that by clicking F4 to find all your apps and find QuickTime. Um, I like to just search QuickTime here and I can find it that way. Or right in the top, if you don't wanna click F4 where the magnifying glass is here, I can type in QuickTime Player and then push Enter, Return to open that. Nothing's popping up on my screen, but look up in the top left-hand corner here, you will see QuickTime Player is actually loaded. So simply go to File, New Movie Recording. This is a program where you can record audio or record your screen. We're gonna do New Movie Recording. And instead of it looking at my face, so I have a double face here, this little arrow down here will allow me to choose a different camera. I'm going to choose my iPad. My iPad is called Ashley's Pro. Yours might have some really long letters or numbers and then your username, mstanic, for example. So I'm gonna click Pro. And now my iPad is actually on my screen. Wonderful. What can I do with this? Let's go back into my Google Meet. I've started a Google Meeting here, if I can find it. Don't have this many windows open, please. Here's my Google Meeting. I'm gonna hide this. And now when I go to present now, I could choose to, instead of presenting just a tab, I can choose to present a window. And I'm gonna choose this QuickTime window. Now, in the meeting, my students will see my iPad being projected. So, of course, I'm presenting my screen. If I had more participants, I would see them in this quadrant here, all squared off. But I actually don't need to go away from this view. I don't need to look at my iPad on my screen because I have my iPad here right in front of me. This is now the view that your students see. So I'm in here as a student of my own class. As I move and write on the iPad, you're going to see that that is what goes on the screen. So you can use Notability on this. You could use your regular Google Slides. You can use any app that you have and that you like on the iPad. I really like using the Jamboard. Um, I think that it's easier to write on the Jamboard even though this is just a little scribble. Um, so that's it, that's what it looks like so that you have a view of what that also looks like. Give this a try. Again, you need that C connector to USB, which is why it's so important to take it home. Your iPad with the charger and your stylus, of course, and then your laptop. 
Good luck. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to myself for the help desk. I'm trying to end this tutorial. <laughs>